Welcome to my visual journey. I am standing on a beach in Boston of all places on a very windy late fall day. In just a few days, I will have finished my coursework to earn a master's of education in digital learning and leading from Lamar University in Texas. Boston, Texas, how does that work you might ask? Let me take you on my journey. There is so much in between. It all started 28 years ago when my oldest daughter, she was 14 months old at the time, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. As a registered dietitian in the healthcare space, I understood the basics of diabetes, but actually living it with a young child was a difficult task. As I recognized how intricate and detailed the living with diabetes process could be, food choices, checking blood sugars, and insulin shots, I became certified as a diabetes educator. My career moves over the next 20 years all allowed me to work with patients with diabetes, helping them navigate the confusing paths of living with diabetes. When my daughter was 10, she started using an insulin pump. This is technology that allows the patient to get insulin in very small amounts and dose throughout the day without having to take painful insulin shots. I was soon a champion of training families in insulin pump technology because I got it. I lived it. I knew what it took to succeed. Fast forward a few years and I joined Animus, a diabetes company with Johnson & Johnson who manufactures the Animus insulin pump. My final position at Animus was in the clinical corporate space where I worked on developing education materials for patients, trainers, and healthcare professionals. I was working on our digital platform and trying to understand how to utilize that technology to help our customers. Until Lamar University Online Masters of Education program in Digital Learning and Leading, or DLL, it was the perfect blend for me. As a healthcare educator, it spoke to my heart, and as an advocate for digital education, the DLL part was exactly what I was looking for. I knew that not all patients learn the same. I was introduced to the cornerstone of the program, COVA, choice, ownership, voice, and authenticity, and everything in the program was built on this base. The center of the DLL program was the innovation plan. How could I innovate and disrupt part of my world in a good way? It was a light bulb moment when I realized I could combine my passion of trying to find new ways to reach and educate patients with a new digital education platform for patient learning. The platform would be created to train a patient who was upgrading insulin pumps. This education was normally a face-to-face -face encounter, but with a solid and comprehensive digital platform, this education could be done online 24-7. One of the most important lessons I learned through the program was from one of the TED Talks, Simon Sinek's Why. I now start each project with the question, why? Why am I doing this? Why does it matter? The program really began to provide context then of how to implement the innovation plan. I learned about the six sources of influence, what could impact the plan, and how do I plan for those variables? We also talked about the four Ds, 4DX. In the four disciplines of execution, the authors explained the need to control the environment to achieve wildly important goals. I could certainly identify with the concept of the crazy whirlwind of everyday activity. This whirlwind can suck the life out of innovation and change. The four key takeaways are listed here, but the most important one that I remember is focusing on the wildly important goal. Leadership can be confusing and leadership without crucial skills may be defined as lack of leadership. Crucial conversations and the failure of nerve books allowed me to receive additional perspective and help develop additional leadership qualities. Another important section of the program was understanding we were involved in a new culture of learning. Tactic knowledge is an experiential process as well as a cognitive one. Remember how I said at the beginning that not all patients or people learn the same way. Diving into the ABCs of learning theories was exciting and eye-opening all at the same time. I found out that I most closely aligned with the constructivist point of view, where I believe that others learn best when they draw from real-life experiences, with scaffolding as part of that learning process. Learning how to identify fixed and growth mindsets was a fascinating area of learning for me. 
And then it was time to put all this into practice and begin to develop a course for learning. Utilizing Fink's taxonomy of significant learning allowed me to understand how to build a new course. The BHAG, BHAG, or Big Hairy Audacious Goal, was to have patients feeling fully competent in insulin pump training at the conclusion of the course. Next, we delved into understanding about design. We utilized three column tables and designing with the end in mind. I recognize that it is not enough to write objectives for the class and hope that the students' patients learn. I've learned that learning is a science. Speaking of science, one of my next projects was to design a course to help understand and teach adult learners. Using these principles, I worked at incorporating what I learned from the literature to fine-tune the digital platform and its content. Creating an action research plan next helped me identify areas of the innovation plan that needed more development. And one of the best things about the whole program was collaboration with all of my peers. This Ed Shelf was a result of many of those connections. And finally, digital citizenship discussions about rights and responsibilities and cyberbullying concluded my digital learning and leading classes. What I haven't mentioned yet is that a few months ago I actually left my job at Animus for a new opportunity in Boston. You see, J&J &J didn't innovate fast enough or perhaps care enough and Animus was closing. I chose a company that was all about innovation and disruption in the healthcare space. I chose a company where I could start a whole new innovation plan, implementing what I learned from the DLL. I'm starting over with a whole new set of skills.